Okay. Here we go. I'll fuck another one. Uh, I seen where Grim Allen posted something about uh, National Guard members storming a GOP office to harass them. All right. <laughs> Look. I need I need soldiers to understand. Okay? Especially nasty fucking girls. Fucking National Guard. Active duty. Marines, sailors, coasties. Fucking chair force. Look. I was in I was in it one time too. But there's one thing that we all understood, which was our oath. Obey the orders given to us by Commander in Chief. However, to protect the rule of law, uh, to protect the Constitution and the people of the United States, trump that. No pun intended. Um, so, if we were given an unconstitutional order or something that was supposed to be used in a smear and or political thing towards you know, it, it was our obligation to disobey said order. What's fucking change? I mean, shit. You fucking National Guard, right? So, the National Guard is very simple. It's your responsibility to protect the people here on home soil. You're supposed to stand up for the people regardless of what you believe. When you have that uniform on, it's your responsibility to stand up for the people. Your opinion no longer matters. I spent time in the National Guard. That's why I know. I think most every a lot of people spend time in the National Guard. You got a lot of people that come out of the Marine Corps that went to the National Guard. You got people coming out of duty with the National Guard. And, and it's mainly for, it's like, look, I want to go home, but I don't want to get out. I, want, I still want to get those benefits. I still want to train. I still want to do this. You know, or I, I want to I want to get out and I want to help National Guard better understand, get better training, yada, yada. There's a billion reasons why people end up in the National Guard. Whether they just want to be National Guard so they can stay at the house. I don't know. I don't care. But you gotta understand something. When, when you have that uniform on, your goddamn opinion doesn't fucking matter. You fucking nasty girl. Um, <laughs> I mean, for real. I bet. <laughs> I bet you won't walk into Dan Crenshaw's office like that. You fucked up. I bet you won't. I bet you won't. Bet. I dare you to fucking walk in Dan Crenshaw. That squeal whoop your motherfucking ass, dog. Look, if you ever want anybody to address you as battle ever again, ever, like, hey, battle, you, you know what I'm talking about? At one point in time when we were all privates or we were all PFCs, we wanted to be called someone's battle. You see what I'm saying? We all had drills on us, did it? Some are a little different. Uh, I went to Fort Knox. Um, OSINT, uh, Big Calvary Scout. Um, a little different than folks to go to Leonardwood to become whatever, or, you, know, you see what I'm saying? It's, it's a little different, depending on your job. But it, as a combat in my you wanted motherfuckers to call you battle. You, they, you fucking wanted that shit. You ever want a motherfucker to call you battle again? Motherfuckers? Shit. I won't call you one. You let a bunch of motherfucking politicians skull drag you the fuck down goddamn hallway and say you're gonna walk into there to whatever blah 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 reason. You let them motherfuckers trick you. Motherfucker, your ass got tricked. See, this is why everybody likes the Marine Corps because them motherfuckers are like, nah. Uh, if it ain't got nothing to do with shooting motherfuckers or whatever. Or protecting the people or fight, we don't give a fuck. You nasty girls let motherfucking politicians trick your ass into a smear campaign. Bruh, 
You got some shit to do to redeem yourself. That's all I'm gonna say. So look, stay frosty. Your head on a swivel, 363 security, because you're gonna have a lot of active duty veterans that, you know, either just got out or ain't been out long. A bunch of Iraq and Afghanistan war vets are gonna be like, you fucking bitches. They're gonna fucking skull drag the fuck out of you, so keep your head on a swivel. And you got a lot to do to fucking redeem yourself because you let a bunch of fucking crooked ass politicians trick you into a smear campaign. Oh, uh, I don't know. I don't know, man. You fucked up. You fucked up. You forgot what wearing a uniform was about. It's not about you. It's not about politicians. It's about protecting the people in the Constitution. Your opinions of the people with the Constitution don't fucking matter. For instance, I couldn't stand the Ka uh, Colin Kaepernick took a knee during national anthem. Pissed me off, but damn it, I was ready to fight any motherfucker who tried to tell him he couldn't do it or tell him he's un-American or whatever. Motherfucker, I was ready to fight anybody to fucking protect his right to do it. I didn't agree with it. Couldn't fucking stand it. Hated that fucking shit. But you know what? I remembered my oath. And I was ready to fight any motherfucker on planet Earth that was gonna tell him he was wrong he couldn't do this he couldn't do that blah 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 see what I'm saying you gotta remember your oath is about protecting the rights of the people not the rights they think they should have or the rights you think they should have it's the rights as it's written in the constitution that's what you're supposed to protect and then you know of course the people themselves um you obviously have forgotten that in your fucking pieces of shit so fucking keep your head on a swivel dog